Welcome back, welcome back. Y'all tuned in on Maniac, Maniac Entertainment. And we just gonna do a little video review, recap of this video. It is 2.47 a.m. And we up. I'm not coming. It's like normal business hours for me. But I just wanted to do this whole recap of this review of this video right here. The title crazy, I ain't watch it yet. Let's hop right into it. Maniac in the same. On July 1st, 2023, officers from the Menominee Falls Police Department responded to Woodman's for a suspect who attempted to steal a bottle of liquor. Officers contacted the suspect who initially provided a false name. <laughs> okay, we'll figure out what's going on. No, I Is he with he with her? No? Yep, I just was seeing He's with her? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What's going on, ma'am? I don't have anything. I, I told okay. her, she looked in my purse. I don't have nothing. Okay. You got an ID with you? Nothing. Got an ID with you? Man. It's too tough. Ma'am, you got to stay here. I don't, I don't until, we get, until we get this figured out, you, you're not free to go. You got to stay with us, okay? No, I don't have anything. So, retail theft in progress. We have this suspect. No, I just have, just have a second I just have my away. car. Okay. You, got a, you don't have any kind of ID? No. All right, this officer's going to take your name. Okay. Thank you. Can we stop over here? This is embarrassing. I'll just stay here. Spell your last name for me. It's a good Look, number for I you. I don't have anything in here. Okay. No. She said she already got it back from you? No, she never did take anything from me. Okay. She never, she never did. I'm, I'm not calling you a liar, but the store's full of video cameras. No, and if it happens, she's going to show us. Mm -mm. Okay. I, I know. What happened okay. was, I had the bottle. And I put the bottle back. She she approached me. And never, never, she never. I'm not gonna lie, it don't make sense. I had the bottle, I put the bottle back. It just sounded like you was gonna steal it. I ain't gonna lie, it just sounded like you was gonna steal it. Got it from my purse or nothing like that. Okay. I, I sat it down because I didn't. I said I'm not gonna do this, and I left. I left out. You're not I never. Do what? I never left out with anything. You're not gonna steal it. Okay. So did you put the bottle in your bag, or were you just carrying it? I was carrying it. You were carrying it. So nothing ever went in your bag. I mean, I, I put it down. What do you mean? I, I, I had it, but then I put it down. The bottle? Where'd you put it down? On the floor. Like where in the store? Like by the where the section. I put it back. Okay. I put it back. So I when I walked out, I had nothing. I'm not gonna lie. Times is rough when you trying to steal alcohol. Right. Okay. Was that because they had already confronted you, or what was the? Not more liquor. Kinda. Okay. Kinda. No. You ever been convicted of retail theft before? Never? Never arrested? Okay. So, um, here's how these things usually... By the look of her face, I can almost guarantee you she probably ain't been arrested for retail theft, but the face is looking the same, but I think she definitely been arrested before. Let me go. Uh, Brianna? Could you just start working on video footage for us? Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a partner who's on the way here, um, and then he'll stay with you for a couple of minutes while we figure out, we'll watch video, see what happened. Um, if nothing happened, you're out of here. If if a theft did happen and they want to prosecute and you've never had a retail theft before, it's probably gonna be a ticket and then we'll let you go. Okay? So, I I'm not understanding. You had a bottle and put it down, and now they're accusing you of stealing. I don't understand what. I, I had put it. I did it put it in my purse. You put it in your purse. Okay. Yeah. That's that. And then where did they I'm confront you? I mean, like she, she right came. Now. She came and walked up to me and asked me to okay. ask if I could come to the office and speak with her. Okay. Were you past the registers already? No. Where were you at? I was in the aisle, and I and then when she said that, I started walking. Okay. And put it back. And you put the bottle back, and then yeah. came out. She yeah. didn't have to take it from you. No. Okay. No. Okay. It's obviously just kind of like a heat of the moment thing here for a second where she was saying that she got it back from you. I thought it, I assume that meant she took it. I assume that meant she took it back from you. No, I've had it back down. Okay. okay. All right. Um, I can stay with her if you want. You want to just go move our car? Never before with retail thefts? 
No. I just put it back. Okay. Well, I'm not. Just because she brought it to our attention doesn't mean that they necessarily want a ticket issue. I just I mean, haven't I had the chance to talk to her about it. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll we'll get it figured out and then we'll let you know how we're gonna go from there. Okay? Fair enough. I appreciate you being cooperative with us. Can I sit down? Yeah, if you want to sit, that's no problem. Is there anything at all in your bag? No. Can I take a look? This, no, this is my personal bag. Like, can I just open it up and look inside? Yeah. I okay. Mean, just make sure you don't have like a weapon or something oh, in there. No, 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 not at all. My bag is all torn up. It's not. Okay. No, no, no. This is my bag. Okay. Why can't I look inside? It's because it's personal. Okay. So is there something else I in there? Done anything. Is there something else in there? No. Okay. Well, if there's nothing in there at all, then why can't I look inside of it? Because it's my why personal. Why you from crying to being hyper defensive over a bag when you could just cooperate with them and they might let you go? But the way she bought the act, I see where this is going. Bad. Yeah. I don't want okay. to. Okay. Well, until I have a chance to look inside it, just don't reach in there, okay? Sure. All right. I have a weapon. I'm sorry? I have a weapon. Okay. Yeah, I see I'm sorry? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Just a second. Are you going to go to jail? Um, likely not. It would be helpful if I could see what was in your bag. But please don't reach inside if I have a Wait, seen you're it. taking it from me. I told you not to reach inside. I did. It. You, I was opening it. You said, can I, can I open it? Let go you're of the bag. You're just taking my bag. Let go of the bag. Why? Why are you taking my bag? Because you are not bag? reaching inside. I'm not going to lie. This is a setup. Because the officer asked, could he look inside? And she was opening it. And now you're trying to grab it and say, oh, don't reach inside. She wasn't reaching inside of it. She was opening it for you. I feel like this was the whole setup by the cop. I don't like that type of stuff. I did it. That I've asked you not to reach inside. I didn't reach. Hey, Mike. I I didn't reach. I don't know. Like that. I didn't even reach. You said, "Why can I look in the bag?" And I started to open it. You asked me. You asked me. I don't know what was so hard about that. About that. There's... You asked me. And I was doing like this. Where's your partner at? She's, she was moving our car. We had a bunch of people. Ask me. Nothing. And I was doing like this. And okay. He, you know it. You said, can, you're like, how can I just look at the bag? And I was getting ready to open no, it. You started reaching inside of it. I so we were going to write a handicap ticket, but Brianna came out and told us that she'd been stealing. So. But I, did. I don't know I, what I, yet. I, I haven't watched any video. If you can just stay with her, when, my, par when my partner gets with me, we'll go watch video. I mean, she's smart. She parked handicapped right in front of the store. She knew easy exit. Mm mm, out of there. So she had plans on taking stuff. You're skip scanning. Yep, skip scanning. You're starting on my back for no reason. What's that? You're starting on my back for no reason. Why first are you of doing all, that? first of all, ma'am, we just have to make sure you don't have a gun I or don't. a knife. That's all. After that, that's up to the store to tell us what you did. All right, this is Officer Schrader. He's going to stay with you until uh, until we figure out what the store wants to do here. Okay, that name you gave us is good. What's that? Is that a credit card? Can I take a look? Just the name on it. You're good at that. Oh. I did. Let's go take a look. Okay. So I think I'm going to tell you what happened. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hell? That's fine. If you want to tell me, that's fine. Otherwise, we'll just stand by until the store tells us what happened. Why did you just let her have the bag? I, I don't know. I just got here. 
He was already going through your bag. But... I know. He just looked at it. Why can't I have my own bag? You, you'll get it back. I, I don't know. Why would you say that? Look at it. Look. 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 I, I just Look. leave it before you make him upset again. Leave it. <laughs> There's a reason why you said that we just don't know. Let me see, okay? Goodness gracious. You'll get it back. We're not keeping it. Just, it's not a big deal. Just don't touch it for now and you'll get it back. I need to make a phone call. I need to make a phone I'm not, I haven't done anything. So I'm in a store. I'll tell you exactly what happened. I'm in a store. I had a bottle. She, all this time you said that you weren't worried about the bag that's coming up with a better story. Then I'm in the store. I got a bottle. I thought I didn't have enough. Okay, I'm lying. I put a bottle in my purse. Good golly. Oh my, I'm in the store. I got a bottle. Because I didn't have enough money. Okay, I'm lying. I put a bottle in my purse. I thought I didn't have enough. Okay, I'm lying. I put a bottle in my purse. You know why she said that? Because she don't want to make it seem like I ain't have enough money. I got money. I could pay for it. I just chose to stick this bottle in my purse for the thrill of stealing. I was going to say because I didn't have enough room to hold it. So I put it in my purse so I could grab other bottles. So, I, you know, to have enough just okay. to have it as a carrying case. Sure. They she came make, up. I was at the. Don't they make carrying buggies for that or buggies for that? No, no. Her purse is much better than a buggy because hey, if I forget, oh, I got this one big one in my purse, and they didn't scan it. That skip scanning, and you know that skip scanning. This counter trying to rig up something else. My car didn't go through. She comes back over. She says, "I'm gonna need to." She says, I'm gonna need to um I need I'm gonna need you to come see come see you. I need I'm gonna need for you to come to my office and talk to me. And I said, okay, give me that, one that's the loss prevention lady? Yeah. I said, okay, give me one second. And I went and I set the bottle back where it was. Okay. And so I never left I went. So basically you got caught stealing and before they could accuse you of stealing, you put it back to say, Hey, I wasn't stealing. But Let's start this over because she wasn't stealing in the first place. She only put the bottle in her bag because she needed carrying space. Did you explain that to the lady? No. You instantly took the bottle out of your bag because you didn't forget it was there or you didn't even try to scan it. You just left it in your bag and when she caught you, you took the first thing out your bag you knew what she coming at you for. Now, oh, what did I do? Oh, I forgot I had it in my bag. Nope, instantly you took it out your bag and I put it back. So, I didn't steal anything. That's a temp theft. The bottle back where it was. Okay. And so I never left my way. So, I, as I was leaving so, out the door. So it was like a booze bottle. Yeah. Wine, booze. And as I was leaving out the door, she says, you don't, you banned from ever coming in here again. Don't come to none of our stores. And I, and I was like, that's fine, but I didn't even take anything. I'm leaving just the way I can. I don't have nothing. I start walking off. And as I'm walking off, she saw you guys. And she's like, excuse me, officer. She was just stealing. Okay. Well. I had already put it. And if that's the case, and I believe you, they'll most likely just do what she said. They'll ban you from the store. We just have to identify who you are. Once we know True. who you are, you'll be on your way. But the store It's up to the store to decide. The store is just going to say trespassing. I mean, they can't really charge her because they can't charge her because it's under a misdemeanor amount. It's petty theft. Even though it's petty theft, she didn't take anything out of the store. She put it back down, so they can't charge her for that. But based off the title, she lied about her name. So let's get into that. You're going to give so. me a chance. Just let me go. Most likely, if it's a bottle, it's most likely not going to be a ticket, unless you've got a lengthy history of doing this everywhere. Misdemeanor, credit, uh, trespasses, okay. Have you ever been arrested before? No. No? If you don't have a criminal history, then you shouldn't be looking at too much trouble.
The information will come out and tell you what the store wants to happen. What kind of shit is that? There's no more booze in there. There's nothing. No, nothing. I honestly think she just want to get her hands on that purse so she can run. But I don't think it's going to happen. Sir, ask this. Did you say that? Strange. I've been crying. Are you really Dorothy? Yes. Are you really Dorothy? Yes. How do you spell it? Wow, look how she said yes. Who buys a little bit today? That's like excellent. Are you are you maniac? Oh, who else would I be? Like, of course. Like, she said yes. They finna get ass with the spell and watch it. Yes. How do you spell it? B O R O T H Y. Let me see. Let me know. Let We're me not see. allowed to show DOT photos to people. What? Nope. Alright. Stay here for now. We're gonna go meet with Brad. Nah, that's a lie. Oh, we we don't have to show we don't. What did he say? All right. We're not allowed to show DOT photos to people. We're not allowed to show you. Come on. How are you going to say you're not allowed to show me a photo to confirm my denied a photo with me? Hmm. What? Nope. All right. Stay here. They allowed to show you photos when they got you in the interrogation of you committing the crime. They allowed to show you that photo, right? For now. We're going to go be with Brianna. <laughs> What's up? Chloe, let's go. Hello, Chloe. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. You got some video for us? Uh-huh. Let's take a look. Okay. You can just walk behind the desk. So what happened? Um, it was just a bottle of, of that big bottle of Casamigos. Casamigos. Uh, she just put it in her purse and she had a couple other. She said it was just a little bottle of wine. Big bottle Casamigos. You think they ain't got like 15 cameras on big bottles of Casamigos? I don't even drink, but I could figure a big bottle of Casamigo probably like maybe 150. I don't know. I don't drink. Probably 200. Big bottle, they said. She got. She thought she was gonna get a man with a Casamigo, a Casa Frico. The thing she went to the register and her card was not going, and so she was asking people in line. Okay, so she was standing at the register with it in her purse. Yeah, with and it had in her scanned purse. the other items, but yeah. not that bottle. Uh huh. Okay. And so uh, the car didn't go through, so she started asking people to use their phone and stuff. And so she kind of started figuring it out. Okay. And this so is she, in the liquor department? Uh-huh. Okay. And then so she went to the aisle, so took the bottle out, and then put it down. Okay. And then I grabbed it, and I gave it to the cashier, of course, and then that's when we was exiting out, and that's when y'all was there. Okay. Wait, what, sorry, run me through that one more time. So she's she's asking people to use the phone. Uh -huh. You're watching her. Yeah. She's kind of figuring out what you're up to. Yeah, because so she, she see the security. Uh, okay. She goes back in the aisle and then takes the bottle out of her purse and it, you know, put it on the ground and then walks out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want a retail theft charge? Um, I just want her to know that she's dead um, and that y'all got the proof because I guess people have been coming here trespassing and, you know, they can't get a ticket written up because... You're not supposed to be here. Okay. So I just want her to know that she's been. Next time she's here, pretty sure she will come back. That's what they always do. Okay. And I want next time she's in trouble. I mean, retail theft's a possibility if you want. It's up to you. Look. Okay. Let's do that. You want to see the video? Yes. See the video yeah. Let's first? take a look. Okay. This is right before she popped outside there. Obviously. Uh no. This is when she grabbed the bottle. Yeah. But this is just minutes before you guys all mm -hmm. came outside. Yep. So that thing's a hundred bucks? Yeah, it was huge. Okay. Huge. 
Well, that's the 175 liter. Okay. That was huge. I had never seen him make that type of size. Was that tequila? Yeah, I think that's tequila. So, they want a new retail theft. We have concerns about her identity. So, we're not going to mess around with potential incitement release or anything. At this point, we have it obstructing. But she, if, if, by some chance, that's the correct name, then I guess we don't have instruction, obstructing. But, um, it seems like we have an obstructing. Okay. Uh, so we'll just go 1080 with her and we'll, okay. we'll go through her wallet incident to arrest. Okay. I mean, based off the information, they forced the arrest because the girl said she just want a trespassing ticket. You know, a trespassing ticket is written in the books that if you come back here, then you're definitely going to jail. You're not supposed to be here. But the cops forced the old, Oh, petty theft because they wanted to arrest her based off of the false information anyway. So, yeah, the false information out the window, he he wanted to force an arrest. And, and that's what I don't like because they'll sit there and they'll have a conversation with you telling me, Oh, you might not even go to jail, you might just get a ticket and you're on your way. And then they go inside the office and tell a totally different story. Of, oh, you know, you can get her to go to jail if you want to. Why? Like the girl told you already what they want, and you trying to say, oh, we could press for more. But guess what? If the girl continued to say, nah, this trespasser, that's it, they would have went outside and they would have pressed her on a false identity and arrested her anyway. Because why? Arrest is on the books. You need those arrests on your books. And this is just a proof in the pudding. Probably ought to hear that way. If not, we'll figure it out at the station. Yeah. You guys were out here to get a, a ticket. You, they were going to write a parking ticket on somebody. I don't know who. But. Yeah, you know, they could have just went on and let me go. Because I didn't, I put it, I put it back. Well, the, so store, I, so, the store asked to get involved. So. so by me putting it in there, but then I put it back and I didn't walk out with it. Does that make a difference? Or is no, it conce the concealment reasons? is concealment. But I, I didn't go. I didn't leave out. Um, so oh, that make okay. a There's a... A section in the law that says just considering the merchandise alone is against the law. You can tell they kind of making this stuff up as they go. Look, there's a section in the law that says uh, just concealing itself is against the law itself. But you can't tell me the exact citation quote of uh, what section of the law it says that. And then both officers seem like they just guess the information as they go. Oh, if it was concealed, that's she didn't walk out the store with it. She didn't steal anything. But oh, if you stick something in your purse and take it out, uh, you can still go to jail for that. I mean, that's crazy. Based on what you're telling us, you did violate the law. It seems like the biggest issue right now is just making sure you are who you say you are. That's all. But that's an issue as well. I mean, am I going to, could that warrant a ticket? If you like to us, yes. What? Like Call obstruction. No, 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 no. I'm talking about oh. the other part. The retail theft part? The concealment part? Uh, that's up to the store. The store, depending on whatever. With you. This thing leaves. You can have go down. All right. We're gonna go back to the station. They we're gonna go with retail theft. You put the bottle in your purse and you see how they say they were gonna go with retail theft. They didn't want to go with retail theft, they wanted to go with trespassing. This is this is like police lying at this point. Like, this should be against the laws right here. Like, you can't tell me one piece of information and say, oh, this should go this way or that way. And you know this can lean in my favor of me not going to jail, but yet you still want to take me to jail. That's, that's like forcibly trying to cause a problem. I don't, I don't understand it. This not right at all. It was clear that you were concealing the bottle. And I, I put it back. Either way. Um, not this time around. So, go ahead. Can I have you turn around? Face towards the wall for us. Why are you so mean? 
We're not being mean. We're actually giving. I'm gonna let you know that my turn around. That before. Walk over. No, right. Be careful. Okay. No, I can call the doctor again. My x-rays is hurt. This pressure. Just relax as best you can. Here, safety lock okay. right here, and then we'll do the surgery. They're not doing this to me. And then what, we, what are we going to do now? We're going to the case. We'll get you a ticket. We'll get you on your way. Dorothy, and if that's the case, we'll get you a ticket. We'll get you on your way. You can call from right there. If you need to come back here and get your ride, we'll, let, we'll, be, we'll bring you back here, too. I'm trying to be careful with your wrist, but I need you the, to... The button that we need to reach is on the inside. I'm telling you, it's on my phone that it was broken. When was it broken? Just a couple of months ago. I was okay. in a car accident. Well, keep you your wrist, the keep your wrist, you're in the middle. That's the best way to keep them relaxed. Yes. And we'll get this over with as quick as we can, all right? If I did run, you guys would catch me. These guys don't want to run. Do you have anything else? I have nothing, ma'am. Anything in your pockets? No, ma'am. No. Oh, my God. I don't have nothing. It's just protocol. Could you feel a little bit? Oh, my God, yeah. It's right now. Ma'am, if you want to turn sideways or lean forward, I usually have my splints on, but they're in the car. She wants to talk. Turn all of the station. That's my best friend. Hey, ma'am. Well, dress. I appreciate all that habits and stuff. Yeah, I hear you. You know, I don't mean, I don't, I'm, I don't mean bad. I, I really mean well. But okay. stuff I do, just, mm -hmm. just try to get by. Okay. And that's, and I don't mean honest. Okay. We do say. She just needed that Casamigo to get by. That was the biggest bottle they make, according to security. So we'll still be going back to the station. We'll sort it out there. Um, as for charges, we have to sort it out there. I got to talk to my supervisor and my other partners here. Um, um, now, now I'm being honest. I appreciate it. Thank you for that. It's going to make this process go a lot quicker now. Yes, ma'am. All right. Are you, do you want, or do you want to keep this open? No, you can close it okay. now. Oh, we can get the air okay, on we'll for, like before you finish the search. Okay. After the suspect told officers her real name, she was found to have valid warrants for retail theft. She was booked on theft, obstruction, and bail jumping charges, and was transported out to the Waukesha County Jail. Can you help getting out or? Well, I can get it. Okay. <laughs> She done cried them lashes off. I would have just never admitted. I would man, she tripping. She's tripping. She gave her sister name. Which means her sister would have got those retail theft charges. Man, she was trying to take everybody down with her, but now she got to face the consequences. But based off her previous charges, oh, she was taking that bottle of Casamigos. Then your car declined. Come on now. So once your car declined with all this other stuff, you're going to say, oh, can I use your phone? Nobody can let you use their phone. So you're like, oh, I'll just come back for this stuff. And you walk out the store with your big bottle across the Migos. But man, security was on her like that. She had to ditch that plan. Still wind up going to jail. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think about y'all. Till next episode.
We out of here.